Juliet's Recipes is a revamp of a website that I created just about two years ago. Actually, the first dynamic website I ever made. This was originally a final project for the CS50 MOOC, and I made a video highlighting it, so check it out. The goal for Juliet's Recipes was to make a recipe site that would make cooking decisions easier. Instead of searching for a specific recipe, the user of the site can choose which ingredients he or she has on hand and would like to use up then is presented with a list of recipes that contain these ingredients, minimizing waste and ensuring proper food rotation. The project you're looking at today is a complete rewrite and redesign, almost entirely from scratch when compared to the old website. While I am still using PHP, MySQL and Apache, the project was completely rethought from the start. The biggest change is the addition of a proper content management system, so big in fact that I made a video just about it. So if you want, check out the link to the other video and check it out. With the addition and changes also came the opportunity to not just redesign the technical and database aspect, but also the visual. Because the original project was thrown together in a very short amount of time, the code and specifically the CSS was very hard to maintain. Using the original site as a wireframe, I first prototyped a new website using Bootstrap for the layout. While not the first time that I used Bootstrap, this site is definitely the first most comprehensive site. I chose Bootstrap because it had already a lot of the functionality that I wanted, and because I wanted to actually use it in a full-scale project. After plotting out the basic layout inspired by cookbooks and other materials, I wrote my own theme for Bootstrap, adding green buttons matching the design of Juliet recipes, and adapting some of the grid to fit the layout better, and much of the CSS is very much custom. Working with Juliet, we decided to keep the basic color and design scheme from the old website. The first major change was the introduction of a bespoke typeface for the site, Julie. The original Julius recipes was conceptualized with a very thin version of Helvetica, and it was hard to read, so I specifically designed the Julie typeface to shine in very thin sizes, through its stocky shapes, large X height, and clear curves. The original logo for the site was designed, along with most of the rest of the site, on a three-hour plane ride in a time crunch, and it needed some updating. Juliet was against changing the overall look, so it was a fun challenge to just update the logo subtly, and yet making it a little more young, fresh, and logo-esque. Here are some of the ideas that I played around with, but it was obvious which one would be the one. This one. In doing some research on successful landing pages, we decided to add a banner showing some of the great recipe pictures, and to catch the user's attention with a clear headline. It was going to be obvious that due to the length of the ingredients search box, the content could not be displayed entirely above the fold, so the design goal for the home page was to direct the user's view to it, making him interested in scrolling. While the old Julius recipes would still technically render pre-formatted HTML pages, the current version of the sites builds each recipe completely dynamically, including pictures, icons, ingredients, categories, etc., from information stored in database tables. I implemented a post redirect get methodology, which circumvents the annoying are you sure you want to resend message. Otherwise, I tried to do my best to pay attention to as much detail as possible, including rendering a carousel only when necessary, by there being more than one picture to display, and adding the correct icons to each recipe. We also feature a completely customized typography for each screen size. When using the find by ingredient functionality for the site, the search box remains with the ingredients selected still checked. And when searching for a recipe and through the search bar, the box is not displayed, even though I'm actually using the same PHP program to display the results. Where the old Juliet recipes had icons with pre-rendered text in the image, the icons on the new Juliet recipes have actual text in them, a fic caption and a figure, which makes the text not only crisper, easier to restyle, but also indexable, helping with the accessibility of the site. To minimize load times, I'm leveraging HTML5 caching, and all the icons are sprites rather than individual images. And while the pictures are optimized for web use, I'm using the third-party adaptive images script to serve differently sized images, created on the fly by the script, for different screen sizes. Mobile users will not get the same 300 kilobit image that a desktop user gets, thereby reducing mobile load times dramatically. Overall, the project was a very good learning experience, especially working with legacy code. Another big aspect was the finishing of most of the recipe pictures. I found that for this project, which includes mostly close-up shots of food, the best thing was to reduce the light-dark contrast and instead play up the contrast and colors. Breads tended to look most delicious with a little boost in the reds and their backgrounds with a little blue, which also works nicely with the design colors of Juliet's recipes as a whole. 